As you can see, I am passionate about gardening. My husband calls me the garden goddess. My two grandchildren call me Gigi. I would like to show you how we can take gardening and beautify the neighborhoods all across our city and bring big dollar tourism dollars to our city. So come with me as we take a garden walk through Memphis. Gardening is, the beauty is it's inclusive. It doesn't matter your age, your gender, your ability level, or your physical limitations. Uh, it is practically free or dirt cheap and can be done in the smallest container or the harshest urban yard. With a single pack of seeds, you can be knee deep in zinnias or cherry tomatoes. The best part is it's a lifelong hobby that brings great joy and uh, personal achievement. The wonderful thing about gardening is that it heals communities. Research shows that the neighborhood you live in has the greatest impact on your health and longevity. Beautiful neighborhoods promote healthy behaviors, decreasing crime, aggression, and depression. People living there feel happier, safer. They go outside more, and they are more connected with their neighbors. Hope and healing blooms when we watch flowers grow. And don't we need that in our city and everywhere? Unfortunately, not all neighborhoods in Memphis have beautiful green landscapes. They're not equitably spread across our city. Many challenged neighborhoods are marred with blighted vacant lots, litter, poverty, and crime. These neighborhoods need our help and attention. Adding canopy trees and flowers in front gardens would instantly beautify the neighborhood and improve the health of the people living there. But how do we bring beauty to these neighborhoods? Gardening. Gardening is the easiest, fastest way I know to bring vibrancy to any neighborhood. When people add flowers and fountains and creative touches, other neighbors notice and join in. And these garden changes create these green islands of beauty across our streets that attract birds and pollinators and other wildlife. And even non-gardener neighbors take notice and start fixing up their spaces. Beauty is contagious. Garden by garden, block by block, neighborhoods are transformed. And beautiful neighborhoods attract college graduates, business investment, and out-of-town visitors. So how do we get people to take up gardening? Simple. Invite them on a citywide garden walk. Because after all, who doesn't love flowers and friendly competition? I got to see firsthand 12 years ago what gardening and beautification could do to bring big tourism dollars into a city. My sister and I went to Buffalo, New York for the largest garden walk in the US. There were over 400 gardens on tour, far more than the 20 I was used to seeing in Santa Fe or Savannah. We were astounded by how many blocks were blooming with over-the-top gardens. I easily rated a 20 out of 10. Everyone, it seemed, was participating in the citywide garden party. Uh, besides the gardens, there were balconies and lampposts 
and median strips and window boxes chock full of colorful plants. Many front gardens had huge sculptures in them that created this public art gallery that everyone could enjoy. The sidewalk verges were filled with native plants, humorous garden art, and benches, perfect for chatting with neighbors. Talk about planting the town green. I was in seventh heaven. So were the 65,000 other tourists with me visiting the gardens that weekend. 25% of us had traveled 50 miles or more to look at gardens. The hotels, pubs, and restaurants were packed. ka -ching, we brought, <laughs> we brought $4.5 million into the economy, all because of gardening. How's that for instant impact to a city? Standing at the corner with gardens on every corner, I had an epiphany. Oh my gosh, this is how you beautify mundane or neglected neighborhoods. This is how you bring in substantial garden tourism dollars to a city. Just invite homeowners to show off their gardens. Invite any garden lover, from the beginner to the master gardener, to participate. Watch as they outdo themselves, creating these very heartfelt personal gardens. Watch their reactions as thousands of visitors ooh and ah over their beautiful gardens. My mind was racing. Could this idea work in my neighborhood, in my city? In 2016, our garden club created the Cooper Young Garden Walk. We wanted to celebrate gorgeous gardens and raise money for beautification. We started with 23 gardens. In seven short years, we've grown to 100 gardens, vendors, <laughs> speakers, musicians, and garden demonstrations. Our homeowners have outdone themselves every year, adding water features, outdoor kitchens, uh, sun porches. And the landscaping, it's become more bold and beautiful and full of natives. The expression, if you build it, they will come, has proven true. We've had visitors come from as far away as California, Iowa, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Virginia. So I learned that garden tourism is the fastest growing tourism sector, growing 7% yearly. Pretty impressive. And I'm not surprised because 20 million Americans took up gardening last year. They are interested in plant knowledge, great garden design, and learn about sustainable tips to heal our planet. They're willing to travel to see authentic, aspirational gardens. Garden walks beautify neighborhoods, one garden and one block at a time. In 2023, we are taking our neighborhood garden walk and turning it into a citywide garden walk called Experience Memphis Gardens. We want to invite residents and tourists to uh, discover all of our diverse neighborhoods and see 150 beautiful, inspiring gardens. Neighborhood walks, beautify neighbors, one garden and one block at a time. So I invite you to go outside and start gardening. Make your neighborhood 
beautiful, no matter where you live in the city, and let's make Memphis a premier garden tourist destination. It begins with you. Thank you.